G'day fellas and welcome back to the Dreadnoughts franchise. Today we are gonna not be taking on Green Bay Packers at Lambeau. They're not very good. We're on an eight and two record. I'm trying to fly through the season, as I said in the last episode. Today we're either gonna verse Kansas City or the Baltimore Ravens. I would like to verse the Ravens though, as we're currently tied eight and two for the AFC North. We lost both games. <laughs> we lost both of them. I don't even understand how that's possible. Meanwhile, the Ravens didn't win or lose, but actually tied in both of those games. What is going on right now? Mario had one touchdown, two interceptions, and 151 yards against the Packers. Like what? Dupree didn't have a good game. He had 41 yards. And I mean, defense wasn't much better. There was no sacks, no interceptions. No nothing. Meanwhile, against the Jaguars, Mario threw zero touchdowns and three interceptions. I don't understand how he is that bad. Rodney Anderson was our leading rusher in that game, 35 yards. Dupree is not very good on simulation, is he? One sack by Christian Peters. That was it. So to risk not looking like an absolute idiot and going down to eight and five, we'll play this game against the Chiefs. Can we at least get some decent upgrades? Keon Weathers is gonna go up to a 91. Darius landed up to a 90. Matt Moore going up. Mario going up. His stats aren't that bad. His accuracy is great. Throw power is fine. He's the 12th best quarterback in the league. He just doesn't play very well. We got a frustrated running back. Okay, what is it Dupree? Get him involved. Now I'm just gonna throw these points around here on recruiting. I don't necessarily need anything special here. It's kind of gonna get it out of the way. See if there's any second rounders worth a pick. We have Andrew Squashington. We need to go check out that running back though. Ricky LeBleu, here he is. Turns out he has a B elusiveness. Uh, he is a projected third round running back. I really like this guy for a third round pick. Not a lot of people like LaMarcus Dupree. I'm not sure if we should replace him or not. Memphis is one of those teams in the last few years that has really taken that step in progression. Every season they've been above 500 and every season they managed to knock off a top 15 team in somewhat of an upset. Ricky LeBleu isn't the best player on the team. You would have to say that is the quarterback and the offensive lineman on the offensive side, but in the right situation, he can ball out. Most notably against Indiana, he put up 140 yards and three touchdowns, cruising to a win in a game that saw Memphis as the underdog. Scouts will be keeping a close eye on him as they feel he might be a steal in the later part of the draft. Not to mention, fellas, he is 230 pounds. Like, this guy has to have somewhat of a truck or a stiff arm, right? With that being said, fellas, let's try and turn this thing around. The Chiefs are only a 79 overall now. If you guys enjoy Madden and NCAA content, don't forget to sub. This is the channel for you. Also, all my social medias are down in the description. A follow is always much appreciated, fellas. With that being said, let's jump into it. I'm not gonna lie, now that I think about it, Ricky LeBleu sounds like a perfect player to join the Dreadnoughts team. All of a sudden, we're in the wildcard picture. Coach hyping up Mario, you love to see it. He's so in tune with all the players on the team. Let's make this a game to remember, fellas. We're gonna try and smash these guys. Come on. That was a terrible kick. <laughs> I don't want them to have a chance to breathe, mate. I gotta send that blitz. Maybe Patty's gonna have to go through the air. Nope. They're just gonna run it. Keon, how are you tired? Oh, that is not good, man. I need you to ball out right now. That's a dot right over the middle. Patty Mahomes. Another run play. Straight in the end zone. Completely and utterly untouched right there. So coach really wants to get LaMarcus Dupree involved today. I agree, mate. We need to see if he really is the running back of the future for the Dreadnoughts. Matt Moore is back out here as well. That's what I like to see. Crap, throw it away. He can't even throw it away, dude. I'm in the wrong playbook. Oh, no. I don't know anything about this playbook right here, so we're pretty much just gonna have to, uh, you know, go as we go, you know? Let's take that. Come on, Ingram. That's gonna not be the ideal drive to start out. We're gonna have to kick it back to him. Might be another game where defense has to carry since I'm so unfamiliar with this playbook. Come on, they're just gonna keep rushing it. Oh my goodness, Hakeem Hyde is gonna go all the way. Dreadnoughts, are you serious? Coach calling four verts to start out. Take that, come on. 
We have minus seven passing yards right now. This is not going well. I'm just going to blitz. Now they want to pass it. Pick it! Sherm right back! Let's go, baby! You have to get re-signed now. I'm not sure if it's going to work the same as my verticals play that I have, but uh, I mean, we'll give it a shot. Why not, right? Apparently can't snap the ball. There we go. That's a great catch from Ingram. We just can't get any blocks. That is the main problem right now. They're in zone coverage, though. So hopefully this works out. There we go. Get that block. 69 up the sideline. Woohoo! Dupree. Make him play. How is Matt more tired? He literally hasn't even... Oh, Travion! Oh my goodness! I thought we were going to get tackled in the backfield. We've come way too far right now to not get a touchdown here. Here we go. Nice block, Dupree. Straight in the end zone, boys. 14 to 7. Got to watch out for uh, the running back. Oh, and we have to watch out through the air as well. I like this play right here. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, there goes the sack, Preston Brown. Don't even think this is my defensive playbook either. <laughs> so we are really against the odds right now. Oh, right over my head. He dropped it. What a hit stick, though. All right, Dupree, do you want the starting job or do you want to give it up to somebody else? Oh, my goodness. Look at the gaps. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he does have some speed to him. Well, that was short-lived. <laughs> we got to put him back in the game. You want your starting job, don't you? You're an NFL player, mate. You have to be ready for things like this. Go! Don't take another first down. Yeah, I do not like these plays very much. I gotta, I've got to be honest with you. I was about to hit Matt Moore for a touchdown, man. I think we just got to go up to Auden Tate. See if he can come down with it. Go, Auden! Oh, he came down with it! Don't you just love games that rely on animation? It's so good. Way to get bailed out, Crowey. I think we get the ball to start the second half as well, so... Might be in our best interest to chew the clock down here. Get it! Yes! Johnny Ross too fast for Kansas City. We're going to tie this game up right before half. Third and two, we do not want to start off like this. Surely not. Only problem is uh, Rodney Anderson has checked in. I use him more for like a goal line perp. Nice blocking by Matty Moore. You see that? That's going to be those 12 carries out the way as well. Well, there we go. Again, great blocking from Matty Moore upfield. Now the Tredavious has checked in. Crap. Bro, how did you not throw that away? For some reason, Evan Ingram, of all the receivers, is going to do this. I don't know why Evan Ingram would be the one, but... Oh, crap. Look at this. The tight end of all people down to the 28. Get the block. Get the block. Man, we cannot get past the safeties. All right, Matty Moore is tired somehow. I need him to score here, though. All the receivers are tired right now. Fit it in. Yes! Right over the top of the linebackers. We're going to go up 21 to 14. Granted, we get the two-point conversion. Maybe they think we're going to run it. Go, Morgan. Let's go, baby. Just like that, this might be the beginning of the end for Kansas City. Normally, we choke the second half. But this game, it started off all Kansas City. And now the Dreadnoughts are in full control. Look at him fight. <laughs> now I'm starting to remember how much of an alpha male Dupree is. Sounds kind of weird, right? To say a, a fictional player is an alpha male. But uh, you never know. Let's go up to Auden. Come on! That might just be the strangest play I've ever seen. All right, let's go for the punt. I'm going to chew the clock out as well. I don't really want Kansas City to have much of a chance here. Good punt. 
Great punt. Go, get there. Yes. Who is the best punter on YouTube? RPO, crap, we get Stark, no way. That's the first time we've seen Tyreek all day. Let's go, Bowie. I knew you were going to get yourself a pick today. I just had that feeling. The second year X Factor is now in the zone. Come on. Oh, nice. Look at this. Auden Tate with the block. LaMarcus Dupree. He only needed 100 yards. He's going to come away with, what, two touchdowns? Bruh. Bowie's got his X Factor. You love to see it. Shut down safety. Yeah, they're trying to avoid him at all costs right now. Go on, Grist. You carried us last week. Oh, double! <laughs> How did he drop that? Five wide, Tyreek is tired. That's mine. Somebody's got to come down with that. It's going to be Jabril Peppers. Both of our safeties have an interception now. Two clutch picks to basically save us down the stretch. Mate. Last episode was proof that linebackers can carry. Is this going to be safeties can carry? Just under three minutes left. Full control of the game. The rush game, honestly, is our bread and butter today. Like, Dupree has over 200 yards, I think. I wonder if we can snag one more touchdown here with Dupree. That would just be the icing on the cake. No! Oh, he broke the tackle! Shoot! We got him, Dupree! Up the... Of course, I had to tippy-toe cheese up the sideline. Wow, we didn't even hand off the ball and we got sacked. Let's see what Kansas City can do. You know they're going to be cheesing, right? They're going to be cheesing out here. He got out of bounds as well. All right, Patty, prove why you're the MVP. Is that why you're the MVP, mate? Throwing another interception? Come on, Grist. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a hell of a pick six, but we are not getting away from Tyree. Yeah, let's see if Auden Tate is the real deal. He's going to be on one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. Come on. M might even have two chances here. Oh, come on, Auden. It's not a, it shouldn't be a problem for Auden. He's a beast. <laughs> oh, wait, we came down with it. I thought that was an interception. We were out of bounds, though. Are you joking, man? Checking out the stats on the day. Patty Mahomes had four interceptions. You have got to be kidding me. Mario started off sloppy as anything, but picked it up towards the end. Russian end Dupree, bro. 239 yards, 9.5 average, and two touchdowns on the day. Receiving end Dupree nearly led in that aspect as well. Evan Ingram and Auden Tate filling in there. Blocking end Malik Cowell led in three bloody sacks. And on the defensive end, check it out. Ricky Grist, Richard Sherman, Jabril, and Tyson Bowie all coming away with interceptions. I mean, it was a pretty dominant day on offense and defense. We came back from a 14-0 deficit. But that being said, fellas, that's going to wrap up this Dreadnoughts episode. If you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.